The clipboard is a temporary holding place for data that you wish to move or copy within your computer's operating system, between applications, or within a single application. You can use these commands to manipulate files, text, and images. In this video, I will demonstrate the basic clipboard commands for manipulating text in Word 2019. However, these commands work the same way across other Microsoft Office applications such as Excel and PowerPoint. Many other types of programs, like web browsers, also use these commands. I will use the mouse to click on each command, but I'll show the keyboard shortcuts because using them will improve your efficiency once you're comfortable with the basics. Cut removes text from its original location. I've used Latin text so you won't be distracted by trying to read the content of this document. I'll highlight the second sentence, and then use the cut command from the clipboard group. This is different from deleting because the data does not disappear. Instead, you can think of it as being relocated to the imaginary clipboard. Next, I'll click on the location where I would like the text to reappear, and I've also added a space. When I click on the paste command, the text appears at the end of the first paragraph. Copy maintains the data in its original location and transfers it to the clipboard. This time I'll copy the first sentence of the second paragraph and paste it at the end of the first paragraph. I'll start by selecting the text. and then I click on the copy command. Unlike when I used cut, the original text does not disappear. Again, I'll click on the location where I would like the text to be reproduced, and I can paste it as many times as I like. Most of the time clicking on the basic paste command or using the keyboard shortcut will do the job, but other times you may wish to manipulate the text that you've copied to your clipboard in a few different ways. For this demonstration, I've named the document on the left Source Document and the document on the right Target Document. Notice that the font in the Source Document is Times New Roman size 14 and the font in the Target Document is Calibri size 11. I plan to copy all three paragraphs from the source document to the target document. While I could use the mouse to select all of the text, it's quicker for me to use the keyboard shortcut Control and A, which stands for Select All. Next I'll click on Copy, and then I'll move my insertion point to the target document. When I click on the arrow beneath the main paste command, the paste options will appear. I'll choose the first one, Keep Source Formatting. You can also achieve the same result by using the context menu that appears when you right-click in the main body of the document. Just like using keyboard shortcuts, these alternative methods are equivalent to each other. Notice that the text in both documents is Times New Roman size 14, even though the font in the target document was initially set up as Calibri size 11. I modified the source document in order to demonstrate the merge formatting command because this method for pasting will preserve some aspects of the original text while allowing others to change. I made the first sentence of the first paragraph bold and I've underlined the first sentence of the second paragraph. Again, I will select all of the text in the source document by pressing Ctrl and A, click Copy, and in the target document, I will right-click to make the context menu appear, and I'll select the second option, Merge Formatting. The bold and underlined sentences are still formatted the same way, but the overall look of the text has changed because it has been merged with the general font settings in the target document which are Calibri size 11. 
The last paste option removes all format settings when it incorporates the copied text into the target document. I'll start out the same way, first by selecting everything and then copying it. When I paste it, I can see that the font and font size are the same as the general settings for the document and the bold and underlined formats have been removed. If the original text contained hyperlinks, they would have been removed as well.